Hey everybody, Matt here. Starting a, starting a Hive Swap Episode 1. Uh, for those of you in the MSPA and specifically the Homestuck fan base, you all already know what this is. For those of you that don't, uh, you know, look it up. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a webcomic. It's a really good one, really funny. Really long, though. Uh, that, that's where you spend your free time to die. Ran for, what was it, seven years? Between like 2009 to 2016? So, yeah, and uh, this, I'm not really sure where this is going to stand in, 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 in the overarching story of Homestuck. Uh, clearly, well, as we can see, we got the little capture log cards right here, so there's already, you know, they're obviously going to be operating with, with that mechanic. So, uh, I got my options set up. I haven't really gotten much further than the screen, though, so... Let's go ahead and check it out. Got that happy little sun over there. Hmm. Happy little family playing with their pet. Got what looks like an older brother and a little sister. Whoa! Your name is... Huh. Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Right, well, let's go ahead and take a minute while we just look around this... This Technicolor nightmare room. My god, it's very girly. What's that supposed to say? Clarissa? That, that's not what I think it is, is it? Honestly, it wouldn't be a surprising reference for Andrew Hussey to make, but... Certainly would be a, a vintage one. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out. Because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Clare. Joey? Oh, that's a boy? I don't know. Hmm. You live just outside the town of Haunt Switch. It's a strange name. You are, in no particular order... A puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Okay, I guess we're just going for the uh, for the strange character names. Unless they meant Claire, comma, or unless they meant like Claire, Joey. No, Joey's not a last name. That doesn't. Mean. Eh, I guess this is one of those girl, one of those weird situations with a girl with a decidedly boy name. Oh well, who am I to judge? Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now. You might have headed back outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Huh, so that taller looking guy was also the little brother. Wow, I'm just, I'm all, all sorts of missing the mark. Is that a wizard? Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said, this wizard's the best. He lives in this little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Ha! Huh. A babysitter that likes wizards. Oh, no. That, that could tell me a number, number of things. Tells us that this babysitter could be one of the Lalons. Also, or it could just be any other idiot that believes in magic, because magic's fake as shit, yo. And yes, there probably will be foul language. Again, I read Homestuck, so you can expect it. Has a, a decidedly temmy face on this dog. Puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's the surprise. Puppy surprise, puppy surprise. 
Alright, whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, <laughs> where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. <laughs> wow, they are really hammering that into us. Mom won this award at around the same age as you for being best at ballet. It's pretty. Oh yeah, I said that we we're in school of multiple dances. You've probably got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you have to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. Your teachers seem oddly fixated on award-winning books where beloved dogs are introduced and then inevitably die. You kind of hate your teachers sometimes. Well, yeah, nobody likes a dying animal. It should be pretty safe on the, sh on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. <sighs> Search. You reach inside the expectant plush canine and puppy surprises having puppies. This is... Huh. Ah, oh, yes, don't ever think to look for your precious diary key inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. Oh, I just noticed the little key. Oh, okay, it says the same thing. Alright, let's get... While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your of your mom's close. Just a feeling. A deep, inexplicable, impossible-to-ignore feeling. I'm trying to remember if Clarissa ever got in any jams like this. You have so much in common. Annoying little brother, computer in your room, uh... Second story bedroom, uh, much you hate to admit, Clarissa's life deviates from yours on a number of vertices. Her parents were around, she had... Oh. Oh no, that's... Oh no. Her parents were around, she had a cool friend who was a boy, but not her boyfriend. No monsters in her yard, etc. Hmm. Look. This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable, and try to model yourself on Clarissa. Ah, Clarissa, she really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. Yep, that it really is a Clarissa Explains It All reference. That is strange. Your babysitter, your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It, it would really bust you up if something happened to it. But we'll bring the mother's heirloom. Okay. Your walkie-talkie. Half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Right, I guess I'll take it. Oh yeah, we got a little inventory up here. Okay. Hmm. Feels a little light. Uh-oh. Yep, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. Cannibalizing! Okay, then. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let, would have let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their sights. Hmm. Yeah. Good change. Maybe I have... You're trying some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you, f when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. <laughs> oh man, this is great. One day you hope to be a veterinarian, when you can be the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters. When someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and you'll say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to <laughs> take the hike, not you. Wow. Does it say this? Okay, yeah, it says the same thing. That's unsettling. This is Sir Bappy Paw Swatter, your beloved manthro chap. <laughs> manthro chap. Oh, God. And it begins. That sounds like a homestuck word. <laughs> you, you tend to his fuzzy... His fussy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of... He Humanimals. Wait, you mean humanity. 
Anyway, Sir Bappy Pawswater will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of other crap on your plate right now. <laughs> what's, what's this symbol? Oh, the animation's really smooth. I like. Oh, okay, so that's like... Whoa! Hmm. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Yikes, more of them? Gentrification is a real monster. Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Oh, those are mouths. Those look like eyes on those. Okay, it's the same thing. Oh, no. Poor puppy, if that icky, snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'll also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. Hmm. Be nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Looks like Jude hurried, scurried up to his treehouse to get away from that thing, unsurprisingly. He acts like it's his mission control room up there, as if a goofy kid legitimately has any secret business of that sort. Outrageous. You're not allowed up there, he says, to which you reply you'd rather step on a rake than set foot in his rickety little nerd hut. You school him so often, you really should be pulling in a teacher's salary. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, you know what? There's those bats outside. I keep seeing them. Oh, yeah. The sun is just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. <laughs> okay. Can't. Can't react to it. Okay. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the screen. Probably? No, wait. Definitely. And still kicking. Oh, that's nice. Is that Bubsy? What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he were here. He'd never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head forever, echoing like screams across still water. True. Huh, can't talk to the hungry, hungry hippos. Mm, okay. No, there's more than enough of that. Yes! Bubsy should be dead. Is that... What is that one? You love block hustle, the game of descending columns that disappear as lines are filled, but uh, you could only find a poster of the American box art. Yeah, it looks like some Tetris block holding a, a pistol or something. We got the fedora. No, <laughs> the word shh is written across it. That's funny. What is that? The bounty hunter's advice. Is that Super Metroid? Yeah, that's totally Ridley and Samus. Huh. Bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot them or change your shape or both at once. She's cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. S what's that say? Second mom. That is totally earthbound. This game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games company and he says gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this insider information and sources inside the game companies, but honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like the super cool poster. Second Mom Rules. What is that? Prodigious collection of titles uh, for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go, you might go lie down for a bit, actually. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That little girl there? She's destined for big things, big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lon big lonelinesses. Now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew. Oh. And she's been gone. You've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. Oh, no. Bluer? Blue? Oh, no. Huh. Look. 
usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you, you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. Alright, well, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You unlock and open your diary. Nice! Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Yep, that's definitely a Lalonde right there. Let's see. Usually don't have much to record in here on a... Oh. Okay, this is going to say the same thing. That must be their dad. That looks like the two kids. Oh, the name is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up. I miss Mom. Oh, man, this is sad. Hmm. Maybe something from your past will shed light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten, the key kicking off a causal cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. 1994? Huh. That's weird. Dear diary, ho-hum, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends by a social circle? <laughs> oh, well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. Guess it's better than calling them my web ring. Kids at school are jerks, though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be... Evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. June 12th, 1994. Woo, first day of summer vacation. Can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. October 25th can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. Came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure has some quality adult supervision what youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Yep, it's definitely, yep. Oh yeah, it's holding a martini. Yep, that is, that is definitely uh, Roxy. I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mom. This is going to be the last entry in your diary. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're, once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, I can't talk much now. There's a sly and cutting monster on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll find you... <laughs> but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey, satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen. You're, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Alright. Hot steppin'? <laughs> you don't really perform the styles of dance that make this movie such a pulse-pounding barn burner of a smash hit, but you'd certainly like to someday. The story keeps happening. Ha, <laughs> never-ending story. The story keeps happening. Just look at that childlike empress. She's, she sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Acorn's Shadow. Acorn Shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. <laughs> canters. Canadian Campfire Spookums! Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every weekend. One of them throws some dust in the fire and then they tell a scary story. And that scary story is the episode. I guess you kind of focused more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories. But whatever, it's the best, just like you said. Goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. 
you know, you really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy though. Huh. Looks like I have to do it. All right, that's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake first. Jude's probably fun. Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia's satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. <laughs> oh, God. That's such a tease. There we go. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It seems you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it! Oh, man, this game. Alright. I think we're gonna... Uh, bring this episode to a close now. And uh, pick up in, in the next episode. So until then, take care, everyone.